Last Friday, licks your feet and giggles as you squat. <sighs> okay, what the actual frick? Are you serious with this roleplay crap? Or are you just memeing? Uh, are, are, are you not into it? Wines in Hyde's head, thinking about how I'm such a screw up and how nobody likes me, begins to cry. Are you shitting me? <laughs> oh my god, guys. Honestly, if somebody started a conversation with me like this, I'd probably either start really laughing or just, you know, instantly hit the block button because, honestly, I, I don't know how I'd react to this. Honestly, it'd probably be like this guy. Pro tip, guys, uh, do not slide into anyone's DMs with, you know, text like that, okay? People might get, you know, just, just a little bit freaked out, you know, e even the homies. What's going on, you noobs? So it's that time again, you know, where we go check out some more furry cringe. You gamers seem to be loving this series so far, so here I am again, putting myself on the line and suffering inside. But yeah, before we start today's video, make sure you guys like and subscribe and comment the word bread. That's right, just bread. This will grant you the ability to fly to the moon. Don't ask how I know all this, you know, I don't make the rules, guys. Also, please don't harass or, you know, attack any of the individuals from the post we're going to be talking about today. This is all honestly just fun and entertainment and, you know, I'll be a complete hypocrite if I said I'd never committed cringe before. But yeah, let's get into today's cringe. Rawr, nuzzles. How are you? Pounces on you. You're so warm. Notices you have a bulge. Someone's happy. Nuzzles your necky, wecky, mer. Hee hee, rubbies your bulgey, wulgey. You're so big. Rubbies more on your bulgey, wulgey. It doesn't stop growing. <laughs> God, I honestly do not know how I managed to get through that one, guys. <laughs> honestly, if you guys don't like this video right now, uh, yeah, I, I need this for my mental health, okay? Okay. I don't know if this was like posted. It looks like TripAdvisor. I don't know if that's the boomer in me talking and, you know, just seeing those five green stars. I guess I just thought it was TripAdvisor. Honestly, if I was the person that had to unfortunately see that on my review page, I, I would definitely delete this within an instant, guys. Like, you know, th this definitely should have been posted on a, you know, fried chicken review. I never asked for this. But you know, guys, at least they had a five-star experience, okay? Who am I to judge how they wrote their review, honestly? As long as everyone's having fun, I guess that's all that matters. I dozed off in class, also talked in my sleep. Something horny, I guess. Someone came up to me and said, You want Charizard to do what to you? Everyone, including the professor, was staring at me. Someone filmed, It's five minutes long. Hopefully it doesn't end up on YouTube. Skipping this class for the rest of the semester. <laughs> Oh my god. Wow, honestly. Like, this was definitely not me as a kid, okay? I, I was too busy, you know, throwing paper airplanes and, you know, doing normal kid stuff, okay, of the, I guess, the 90s. This, though, honestly, th this kid is never, unfortunately, gonna live this down, okay? You shouldn't be, you know, out loud talking about Charizard like that, okay? You should be, you know, out loud, you know, raising your hand, telling the professor, you know, the science answer or something like that. Honestly, I hope this kid, you know, learns from their dramatic mistake and, you know, studies the books more than Charizard going forward you know but that's just me you know you, you guys you guys do you okay people in animal suit will not be tolerated at our stores go to the other restaurant beast man <laughs> oh my god no fur man in burger king moldova i don't even know where moldova is guys honestly i'm, I'm assuming it's some kind of european country or something but uh th this is this is pretty dramatic okay this is just an innocent strawberry you know just chilling in the open <laughs> some period you know i do think this is a little bit drastic but i can understand you know them being a restaurant chain and you know not wanting people going crazy outside or whatever but i, I think we should just let people be you know uh, as long as they're going into burger king and getting the you know burger of the day or whatever it's called and you know burger king's getting their money I, I don't really think it matters how people are dressed okay my lab instructor decided to wear his two thousand dollar handmade dog costume in class i'm legitimately scared this is a really old tweet screenshot aside from all the furry stuff can we please bring back you know this twitter layout okay even if it's just for a week elon I I'm, I'm talking to you okay buddy <laughs> But uh, in regards to the post, guys, honestly, I mean, I don't really see this as a problem. But, you know, me being like a random student and just, you know, seeing my professor come into class one day like this, you know, I'd be a little bit scared. You know, I'd be like, oh, what's going to happen next? You know, I wouldn't say I'd be fearing for my life. But uh, yeah, th this would be this would be quite a lot to take in. OK, so I, I kind of agree with this one here. 
the 2020s are also going to be called the Roaring Twenties, but this time it's because everyone will be in a fursuit the whole time. The Roaring Twenties. Me in 2019. Yeah, 2020 is uh, pretty dramatical for, for everyone, okay? Because 2020 was uh, when we had the, you know, the big virus outbreak and, you know, we couldn't leave our house or, you know, cuddle our loved ones, okay? And uh, even McDonald's in the UK closed, so it, it was a pretty dramatic time, at least for me. So I don't think I feel anything good about this post, honestly, guys. I, I do not want to be calling 2020 the Roaring Twenties at any point. You know, if, if it makes you feel better, then yeah, go ahead and call it the, you know, Roaring Twenties. <laughs> Okay, so we've got some art here. Is that freaking Vexium? What the hell? Honestly, uh, what? Honestly, guys, I, I might have to, you know, get my uh, my lawyer cap on here because um, I don't know where this is from. Like, is this Reddit or something? Like, Jesus. Th this interface looks uh, pretty mediocre, to be honest. <laughs> But uh, whoever's using my name uh, in this furry community stuff, like, honestly, this is not me, guys. Okay, you could do the research, you know, get those receipts. Honestly, guys, I, I feel pretty targeted after this post. And, you know, the, the blatant slander is definitely not helping. <laughs> Special value, Catboy, $5. Honestly, this actually, you know, I, I'm kind of offended, guys, okay? You know, Catboys should be worth a lot more, you know. Personally, I'm more into the cat girls, but... Uh... <laughs> I don't think we should be undervaluing, you know, cat boys here and selling them for $5 Walmart, okay? Honestly, sort your prices out. You know, how dare you undervalue cat boys like this Walmart? I know your prices could be a bit killer, you know, compared to Target sometimes, but uh, I I'm pretty mad that you're undervaluing cat boys, okay? My furry dictator, Dirty Fox Games, released October 9th, 2021. Wake up, comrade. You just arrived in the best country in the world. We have socialism, pores, and most importantly, a hot dictator. Experience the story of a young billionaire and his relationship with the most insane woman in his life. Oh my god, even the reviews are pretty positive here. I mean, we already know the target audience for this game, you know. There is so many of these games, and there's some pretty messed up furry games on Steam, you know. Don't ask how I know that, you know. It was just some light research, you know, totally after, you know, looking at this post. Wait. What a f***ing liar, dude. But uh, honestly, I, I do wonder what this game is like, though. You know, I, I won't be purchasing it anytime soon. But if you guys have actually got this game, then uh, le leave a leave a Steam-like review in the comment section down below, okay? When your friend asks you if they can look something up and they type E into the search bar. <laughs> oh, no. Um, honestly, I, I do not understand the reference, guys. There's definitely not a six after that E, okay? <laughs> You know, uh, you could definitely type E into my search bar. You know, nothing weird's going to come up, okay, guys? So, you know, I'm pretty off the hook when it comes to this one. Although I, you know, totally don't understand what they mean here. What a f***ing liar, dude. But uh, I, I just love the shot look on this heart, okay? It's kind of funny. I like most fursuits, but this one is disgusting. Oh my god. That is one thick horse, okay? And what's with the lips? <laughs> it's overly sized, honestly. You need to cool it. You could definitely tell these uh, these two security guards or police officers or whatever they are were just, you know, so bored out of their mind. And they saw this person in this suit and was like, you know what, let me just let me just post for the culture, okay? You know, meanwhile, someone's, you know, doing GTA outside trying to break into someone's car. You know, these lovely two police officers are just posing with this horse owner, okay? This, this is what's wrong with America, okay? <laughs> Your priorities are all in the wrong place. But honestly, I don't know what I will do if I saw a suit like this in public, okay? I'll probably run away let's be honest here but uh you gotta give it to the police officers okay they've, they've got no shame okay they're just trying to pose and get 10 likes on their instagram page the bad guys official trailer just one day ago holy furries fur but i know what i'm gonna f to today oh my god this this is so true like anytime an anthropomorphic i'm sorry if i butchered that word anytime um there's ever like furry related characters in any kind of official movie series or whatever you can guarantee there's going to be you know nsfw stuff made straight after and it really doesn't take the furry community long either you know you got to give furries the credit for dedication okay but uh in some way some of my favorite you know childhood characters have definitely been ruined guys from um all the quality art that's been made of them <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. You know, everyone seems to be going crazy for uh, Mr. Wolf over here. And honestly, me personally, I don't really get it. But, you know, you guys do you okay? 
But yeah, I think that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Uh, today's video was definitely something I, I guess we all learned a thing or two from. Seriously, though, I appreciate all the support the channel's been getting lately. And I just wanted to say thank you. Honestly, it, it means a lot. If you want to see more bite-sized versions of these videos, I've gone ahead and made a shorts playlist. So, you know, definitely go check that out. If you guys want to stay more up-to-date with me, then I'll link my socials down below. Along with my Discord server that's completely, you know, not full of furries. But yeah, I hope you gamers have a great day or night, wherever you are. Peace.